What's up guys and welcome to the channel. I was working on this Audi A6 that I just picked up and I get this question asked all the time so I feel like I would just make a video on it really quick. Service position. Super simple. I slide this forward and I have a little cheat for you guys down here. Stay tuned to the end of this video. This little cheat will save you from buying that special tool that they need to save you some money as well. You don't have to remove the whole core support, you don't have to drain the Freon out, and you also don't have to remove the transmission lines or the coolant. Just stay with me, let's jump into this. Obviously, lift your car up and take the front bumper off first. If you don't know how to take the front bumper off, I'm sure you can find another video on that. That's not what this video is about. And if you have problems with the front bumper, I wouldn't proceed any further than this. So, I'm to the stage where I have the headlights loose. My front bumper is off over there. Shouts out to Pops right here. RIP Dad. And uh, yeah, so I'm just in the process of taking these lights out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this core support free and we're gonna take this bumper support off and then I'll show you guys my hack that I use to keep everything connected and get all the room you need to work in here. Cause I gotta get to this little sensor right here that's leaking. So let's jump into that right now. All right, so before you're able to pull these headlights out, uh, obviously remove the bolt holding it here, uh, bolt right here, and one more in the back right there. Uh, you gotta remove these little mounts right here, which is fine. This is gonna take off the front support. You should probably get here before you get to the headlights. So you need a 13 millimeter wrench, and uh, I use an impact for this. All right, that's how I leave the bolts, just so you remember how they go. Leave two of these out, I'm gonna show you the hacks in. Now that those are done, remove your bumper. Set that down out of the way. All right, now the only thing we really got holding it here is uh, these torques up here. We got this other headlight in, which we gotta remove. And then we just got these bolts right here. And you'll take those four off, and then uh, for that I'll show you guys this hack as well. All right, we're gonna hit these headlights off. Sometimes the little uh, adjuster comes off and starts spinning on you too, so. So you gotta like hold it with the other hand and grab that. So I film it with one hand in here. All right, now we're gonna uh, slide these out towards us. That'll give us access to the plug, obviously. Which is what, ever so conveniently already broken off. Here we go, the tab's broken off but the light's still on there. I couldn't film that, I don't have my tripod near it, but I just use a pick. If you run into that situation, stick a pick up in there, pry it back, it'll pop free. And same thing on the other side. Look at that, whoever worked on this last broke the doors on these lights. These things just flap up now because they're fucking tards. Oh man, I really hate when people work on German cars that don't know how to work on German cars creates a lot more headache for me. So then you just want to unclip this, pull that off. Boom. All right, don't worry about my long extension. I needed to reach a spot for the bumper. Now we're going to break these free. All right, look at that, super easy peasy. The only thing you have holding this up are these four bolts and these four bolts. So grab an impact. Let's take out that one, put it somewhere safe. And that one, put it somewhere safe. All right, now let's say you're like me and you like to save a bit of money. Here's the bolt that came out of here. Let's say you don't want to buy a specialty tool. Here's the bolt that came off of your bumper support. See how it's the same thread pitch? That one bolt you just took off, go ahead and put this one through it. You don't gotta send it home, but 
you know? Run it to the end of the threads. The specialty tool you have to order for this just allows you to slide the core support forward, the front carrier, whatever you want to call it, just right here so you get enough room. We're gonna do this on the other side. And by using these bolts, you eliminate the need for that tool. That tool is at least like 70 to 80 bucks. And let's say you bend one of these bolts. Well, you can easily go buy one at your local dealership for a bargain. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I put those in there just like so. And we just start zinging them. Look at that core support just wanna fall off of there. Oh yeah. Aren't you guys happy you found this video? Watch how easy this is about to be. All right, now before we pull this forward, if you guys would do me a favor and drop a like, maybe hit the subscribe button. We do all kinds of work on Audis here. Got an Audi over here, Audi in a driveway, and uh, I'll show you all the stuff that I learned along the way. So with this like so, we might have to disconnect a few more things here on the side. I'm not used to on the V8, so a couple more Torx T30s, and she's home free. We'll just keep this big, ridiculous extension on. Uno. You like the garage footwear? I like to work comfy, man. I don't like to, I don't need to be struggling. Yes, and I need to wash my toes, obviously. Not wash them, but watch them. Don't want your goddamn toes fucking with you. All right, peep this. So if it gives you trouble, push down, click, then you pull out. Works every time, don't use tools. All right, peep us out, guys, peep us out. Here we are. Look at that. Oh, you just want to come on out, don't you? Oh my goodness, look at that. Here, I'm a bird brain will disconnect that stuff. And we just got a few more little things up here. What do we got, like this, uh, this little wire is gonna give us some issue? Well, they already break that one off for me too? Look at that, they already broke that one for me too. You guys are amazing. Oh wow, look at that. They already disconnected that for me too. These idiots couldn't take off a hood latch even. They RTV'd it. Guys, come on. Rookies of the year. I'm gonna find out what shop that this was at and I'm gonna try to link it below. It's some shop in Tacoma. Some ghetto shitsville. All right, then the idea here is, right? You slide it out a little. Look at that, all that room for activities. And I like to slide a piece of wood in there. Look at all that room for activities. Hardwood only. Your mom knows. There you are, so. Unless you're doing a giant job that really requires you to need to see the front of the engine. Like look at all this room in here, you know? And you can pull it out a little bit more if you need to. You can remove the tension on these transmission lines down here. And you can also disconnect some stuff over here. And this coolant line's getting a little bit of pressure on it too. So if you want to disconnect a coolant line or so, or drain your coolant, all kinds of services about to get done on this car. Just pick this up for cheap. So if you want to follow along on a journey, smash that subscribe button, come along and follow. And we got a 3.2 Audi and a 2.0 Audi over here. So I try to post as much videos as I have working on these and other customers' cars. Again, all you guys' support's appreciated. And I'm happy if I showed you guys a new trick right here to save you guys some time and going to the dealership. Just take your time with this. Go slow, lay your parts out. Make sure you, you, you just don't rush through it, you know? And uh, it'll be easy. So, peace guys, thank you. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.